Okay, so let's say we've been asked to estimate something like, um, let's say, uh, 126 times uh, 3,982, okay, for example. So in this, if I was asked to estimate it, what you need to do is you need to look at each of the numbers in the calculation and round each one to one significant figure. So 126 to one significant figure. One to the right tells me to round down, so that would be 100. And 3,982, the, the first significant figure, one to the right tells me to round up, so it would be to 4,000. So I'm saying that this is going to be approximately equal to 100 times 4,000, which is 400,000. Okay, so that is how I would estimate it, and I would get marks for my actual rounding and then my final answer. If I had something like, um, let's say, um, Struggling to come up with examples here, in my head. Um, let's say I had something like um, 8.02 times 1.837. And I'm going to square root the answer. Okay, And I want to estimate this. Now, square roots, um, if you're not happy with square rooting, we're going to be going through that in a later video, okay? But if, what I need to do is in exactly the same as I did in this example. I round each of the numbers to one significant figure. So 8.02 to one significant figure. I look at one to the right of the 8. I need to round down, so I'd round that to 8. And 1.837... Look at the 1, 1 to the right, tells me to round up, so that would round to 2. So I'm actually looking at estimating this to be approximately equal to the square root of 8 times 2. Now 8 times 2 is 16. And the square root of 16 is 4, because 4 fours are 16. So I can say that the answer to this is approximately 4. Okay? Let's go through a couple more examples of this, just to make ourselves happy. Once again, you know, if you're worried about that square root, don't worry at this stage. Um, we're going to be looking at examples of square roots later. Let's look at something a little bit more fiddly. Um, let's say we've got three, um, th well, 38.7 divided by um, 1.02 times 4.98, okay? So actually what this is looking like is a big fraction, okay? But remember, when calculating a fraction, you do top divided by bottom. We're going to look at that again in another video as well as we keep going, okay? But um, you start off, round each of the numbers, to one significant figure, so we've got this 38.7, okay, so this would round to 40, over 1.02 would round to 1, and 4.98 would round to 5, so this is the same as 40 over 5, and it's top divided by bottom, so 40 divided by 5 is 8. So my, an estimate to this original question would be 8. So round each bit individually first and do the calculation. Let's do one more just to make sure we're happy. Um, let's have something like um, 105 take away... Um, 79 all over um, let's have uh, 
eight times by four point zero zero five. Okay, so we're rounding each of these to one significant figure. The 105 would round to 100. The 79 would round to 80. Um, 3.8 would round to 4. The 4.005 would also round to 4, so we end up with 20 on the top, 16 on the bottom, and 20 divided by 16 uh, isn't particularly nice, it's the same as 10 divided by 8, it's um, 10 divided by 8 is 5 divided by 4, which is 1.2. Okay, I'm not expecting you to be able to do 20 divided by 16 in your head, but I would be expecting you to be able to get to 20 over 16 using these steps, being able to round each of these numbers to one significant figure, and then getting to 20 over 16. Okay, so these are the type of calculations that you are expected to be able to do. Okay, so if you're given a fraction like this, do the top and do the bottom, and then do top divided by bottom, okay? That's actually bid maths working in the background, making sure you do the bracketed bits, the top and the bottom are bracketed, doing those first. So if, on, in any of these examples, you just plugged it into the calculator, and it, this could come up in a calculator paper, more likely to, to try and catch you out, if you plug any of these into your calculator, and just get an answer and write that down, you will get no marks because you have not done any estimating at all. Okay? The estimating must come from estimating each of the numbers in the calculation, okay, and then making it a simpler calculation.